first art journal entry, I started off with some decoupage and my golden gel medium. This is London Rice Paper from Stamperia, the Lady Vagabond series, as well as some regular masking tape, random pieces of scrapbooking paper I tore up that were in my color scheme, and eventually a little washi. Speaking of a color scheme, I actually wasn't sure what colors to use on this spread, so I ended up on a website called palettes.net and found palette number 827, which is what I used for the inspiration for this spread. I'll link it in the description box so you can see it if you'd like. While the coat of gel medium was drying on that page, I went to the other page, which is going to be a journaling page, and did a gradient wash with my Mijello Mission Gold watercolors. It's a mix of Prussian blue, yellow orange, and lamp black. The fibers did start to separate a little bit, but I think that might be okay since the page didn't warp too badly. However, further testing will be necessary. I grabbed some Crate and Barrel acrylic paint. This color is Sunkissed Peach and used a brayer just to put down a base layer that would be opaque so that I have a place to put my gorgeous girl stamp. And then I went in with Tattered Rose and Tea Dye Distress Paint and a stiff bristle brush. After that, I used a mix of Lamp Black and Prussian Blue Gouache that's pretty watered down so you will still be able to see the decoupage through it and uh, basically made a mess. Oh, and the green gouache is a mix of may green and yellow ochre. While that dried, I used a couple of full stick post-it notes, since one wasn't big enough, to make a mask for my gorgeous girl. The girl I'm using on this page is Nightlight. After I stamped her out and added a mask, I failed miserably at trying to use stencils with acrylic paint. I find it much easier to do this with ink, which you'll see in a second, when I add some visual texture with some Tim Holtz stencils, as well as a few uh, dark tree branches with a TCW stencil, which I also ended up going over with my black Posca paint marker and added to the branches. Maybe I can make you some 
watered down black acrylic paint to mirror the gnarled tree on the right side page as well. Once dry, I removed the mask and colored the gorgeous girl with Faber Castell gelatos, Distress crayons, and Prima water soluble oil pastels. that was done, I added a coat of microglaze to stop everything from being water reactive, and added a coat on top of that of clear gesso to give some tooth back to the paper. Maybe I can make you the outlines back in with my Lamy Safari fountain pen before adding some more pronounced details with Posca fonts. We could lament over clues in the days of our youth Memories faded The years we look forward to might be over soon I feel the divide between you and I Like the distance between the dark and And finally, the quote. No fancy lettering, I just wrote it out this time in Posca's. And as a last touch, in the dark places on the spread, I used both black Posca's as well as my fountain pen and wrote, I guess, negative words that came to mind. I'm sort of in a negative headspace at the time. Let me know if you liked this video. I had a hard time deciding if I wanted to do a voiceover or just leave this as a simple speed paint with some music in the background. Let me know what you think you would prefer in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and toss me a subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.